Bleeding Blue is a documentary that Hollywood, academia, and popular culture would condemn, which is exactly why you need to watch it. We know what we're up against. Uh, we know it could cost us our lives. We want safe neighborhoods for our kids and for ourselves. And somebody's got to be on the front line of defending that, and that's the American police officer. This documentary, Bleeding Blue, is narrated by conservative Hollywood action hero Kevin Sorbo, juxtaposing politicized media coverage with the actual, personal accounts of officers themselves. It explains the mentality that there's no such thing as a typical day for law enforcement, a job where every time you show up, you know you may not come home. I don't know if I was fully aware of what that toll was going to be. In this film, we're told of the police officer experience, Everything from having to be away from family to making the ultimate sacrifice, from stopping robberies to preventing suicide. One of the most powerful stories was of an officer responding to a mass shooting. Now he'd prepared himself for a shootout, but instead found himself cleaning up bodies. He describes what it was like as a father carrying someone else's dying child. The film focuses on how America has fallen far from its Norman Rockwell view of cops as friendly neighborhood protectors. While police have done wrong at times, the narrative put forth by media demonizes them now as much as ever. Police brutality, police Wait, let, brutality. Let police brutality. Brutal deaths that were suffered at the hands of police violence. Why does the media push these few incidents to make it look like it's happening all the time? I don't know. True journalism is going completely out the door. It's definitely sensationalized. You can see the amount of damage being done. The documentary dives into the events of Ferguson, where the Michael Brown case seemed to split America. If anything, that was the beginning. What broke our feeling of unity and political consensus so that different halves of America believe irreconcilable narratives about what happened, who we are as a country. Now, granted, the documentary notes that there are cops who have done wrong, even showing footage of policemen harming civilians. Police officers condemn this injustice, as well as its tarnishing of the reputation. The film speaks at length about how even sports and music have been politicized as cultural weapons against law enforcement. The result is that policing itself is forced to change from proactive to reactive. Now, while this documentary has a pro-police message, it does not hide from America's difficult past, nor the challenges of the present. But what it offers, above all else, is hope for a better future. It illustrates law enforcement's commitment to serve, to protect, to be the thin blue line that keeps America safe. While this may not be the feel-good family film you'd like to watch, it is undoubtedly a film that you need to watch to show Americans the truth in a time where media and academia seem unwilling to present it. Watch it, learn from it, and try to thank your local officer. This is Alexander Hall from MRC-TV. Thank you. Mm -hmm.